So here we're in our、uh, men's section. Oh, a、right, customer. Lady, I want a fancy pirate coat. A fancy pirate coat you will have. Okay, I'm glad you came to our store. I like to introduce you to the one coat that has many different looks. Okay, so this coat actually can have a whole bunch of looks. We have a whole bunch of different questions to answer to get the custom coat for you. The first one of the questions that we want to know is. Uh, if you have a regular or a slim body type, so a slim body type is where your chest is four inches or more larger than your stomach, but it appears that your stomach may be an inch or two larger than your、uh, chest, so you would be what we call a regular, right? And then we want to. Know about the kind of fabric. So come over here, and we have two types of fabric. We have the rough, textured look, and the fancy、uh, pattern look. So the、uh, rough, textured look comes in four different colors. It comes in the red, the stormy gray, the rose brown, and Uh, jolly black, and then for the fancy damask, we have the royal blue, the burgundy, and the pirate black. So, which of those do you want—the rugged or the fancy? Okay, so we will take the blue. All right. We're going to see if you need a long, medium, or short sleeve. All right. So we're going to take a tape measure, and we measure not from the back of the neck, but actually from the shoulder. Right. So to actually, it depends on the shirt. Depending on the shirt you're wearing, could be in the wrong place.、But、really, where that bone is, right there on your shoulder, you're gonna take that and you're gonna measure to your your、um, wrist. Wrist, right? That's tw 24 inches. Okay, so. In the modern day, they wear it very long, sort of halfway down、uh, the hand right here. But we have found that we're taking it in between, so it's right at the wrist. Because what you want is to be able to see some of this ruffle through it. So getting it right at the wrist is what we suggest. But if you are modern and it just feels so weird, you can get it long. Right. So for you, we looked on the、uh, chart, and because you actually have a long arm, you should get a long、uh, sleeve. Next thing is button. Okay. So we have small buttons and we have large buttons. The、so、small buttons are three-quarter inch, while The large buttons are one inch. What's the main difference between choosing the two different sizes? Well, that's a great question. Here I'm going to show you. Okay, so for a, a large button, the style was to have around ten buttons that went from the top to just below your pocket flap. So you have ten buttons, but that was more common in the mid to late period. But in the early period, what was common was to actually have the smaller buttons tighter together, going from the very top to.
to the very bottom. So you actually have twice as many buttons or 20 buttons along here. And that's the major difference of, you know, picking small versus large. So that's why the small button costs more because there's a lot more of them. All right. So which uh, did you like, the small or the large button? Okay, so on the small buttons, you have a choice of shiny brass, antique brass, or the antique pewter. Which do you like? Uh, going with a blue coat, I'm probably going to go with the antique pewter. That's a good choice. Uh, I usually like that cooler colors like blues uh, work well with the colder metals, while warmer colors like red might do better with the cold. So, you, you pick the, the nickel, and on the small buttons, there's only the plain, but on the larger buttons, there are also, you have plain and you have fancy. So, but in the small buttons, you don't have any fancies. Now we're gonna talk about uh, pocket, pocket flaps. So we have three types of shapes of pocket flaps. We have the square, which is popular in the early time frame and then we have the scallop and that was during the mid time frame and then we have fishtail and that is of the late time frame okay and they were also paired with different cuffs the larger cuff that's very big in the 1700s the mid-sized ones in the 1740s, and the late is uh, the smaller ones in the 1780s. Right, Which of those? Kind of like the, uh, the earlier designs, so the big wide cup and then just a square pocket. Yes, so it's good that uh, here I see that you're trying to be historically correct. So the small buttons were popular during the early time frames, and then the later, mid, and late tended to go with the larger buttons. You know, and it, it's good if you're trying to be historically correct, but some of you don't care. You guys can mix and match, you know, different time frames of cup and pocket flaps if you wish. Uh, the next thing we're going to cover is accent color. So sometimes a coat can be done all in one color, like this one here, where the pocket, the pocket flap, the cuff, and the main body, and the cartridge pleating is all the same color. Right? Or, like this one here, where the accent colors are a different color. So which would you like to do? All the same color or uh, a contrasting color? I would go with contrasting color. All right, so, okay. So you have a blue coat. So probably black. Yeah, blue would go best with black or it could even go good with the, 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 the pewter as well. All right, so the black, you have a choice of the rough, rugged black. You can have the damask black. Or you could have the black water half of them. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, water okay, so this fancy water tap I think that's an excellent choice that usually I don't suggest when you're fancy, you should stay with fancy accents, and when you're rough, 
you should stay with rough accents. Then our next question, okay, so we answered the color and the accent fabric. Okay. What about the, uh, the trim? All right, so you have a choice of no trim or simple trim, which simple trim just is one, um, one sliver of trim, right? And then the complex is where you actually have the buttonholes. See? And each of the styles, uh, the nun, the simple, and the complex, they all have their own style during it. Okay. So, which would you like? Well, if I'm going really fancy, I'd like the complex. And the uh, red coat you just showed is an example of complex yes. trim. Yes, so it would be sort of, yeah, it would be using, it would be this on the cuff and this on the pocket flap. All right. The next thing. What colors can you choose for the trim? So people want to know what colors can you pick for the trim? So we actually have three different colors you can have silver, you could have gold, and you can have black, you know. But it's not. It's best not to put black on black. Okay. But it'll look good against the red or the blue, or the, you know. Okay. So that was a good question there. Thank you for that. Now, then, in the late time period, collars and lapels were very popular. So, this is a collar, and this is a lapel. So, if you're trying to stay historically correct to the 1700s, that's not a good uh, choice. But you don't have to stay historically correct. Like, yeah, if I decided these were fancy enough, I could put them on an otherwise early 1700s coat. Well, you can. It had, but it would become what we call a fantasy coat because they didn't, they didn't wear the collars or the lapels that at 17. So, do you want the lapels or the collar or no? I think I'll stay historically accurate and skip on them this time. Okay, so I mean, and they don't come as a set. You could just order the collar or the not collar, and then you could order the lapel or not lapel. And they are completely separate. Then the next thing is the cartridge pleat. So on some, in the late time period, they didn't have it. So all you would have is a slit right there, right? But in the mid and the early time frame, they would have um, a cartridge pleating there. So this is in the same color. Let me see if we got one here that is in. Okay, so Black here. Beard. Huh. Right. So this one, where we have the red cuff and pocket flap, and then back here we have the red uh, cartridge pleat or skirt. Right. So it adds a nice flare when you spin around. So do you want? And that was from uh, that time period. That was popular during. Yeah, and I like. Period. I like the look, so I go ahead and get the cartridge pleat. Okay. Ah uh, yes, that all of those accessories will always be all in the same color. So they're either the same color as the coat, or they are all the same color on the accessories. Then the last question is, do you want a cape with your coat? And here, let me show you. So this is a, a cape or mantle that is on a coat. And these were used, uh, you know, if it was rainy or if it was cold, that um, this is made out of wool, so it's, it's somewhat water resistant and it's very warm. But sometimes it would be warm 
and you didn't want it, so ours is removable. There's a uh, button that's in the top of the coat that you just undo, and then you can wear the coat by itself. So it can be, you can have it single. I mean, you could have it without any trim, or you could have one trim, or you could have two. And this is an example of that, the black trim. Right. So they do look cool, and it is always rainy down here, but never cold. So I think I'll pass on the mantle. All right, which was not very popular during the early here. So your coat is going to be somewhat in this style. It has a big cuff, a square with the lots of buttons. So the difference is this will be uh, that fancy blue and then these uh, accents will be in black. And uh, when I tried it on earlier in civilian clothes, I remarked on the short sleeves where they seemed too short. Well, uh, the, well, this one, well, actually, let us, let us measure. Okay. So here, so the way to, okay, the way to figure out what size you're going to wear is we are going to measure your chest, right? Chest has 42. You should just go underneath the armpit, right across the chest, right? Sort of that nipple height. So he's uh, 44, and if you look at the chart, it, it's different depending on what style. If you're wearing, if you pick the coat that has buttons here that are going to be buttons, you're going to follow one side. If you are getting a coat that has a lapel, that does not button, it's designed to be open in the middle, it's going to be a different size. So, based on his uh, measurements, he just fits in um, the extra large size. That's what he, he would get. So, it's best that you measure yourself, you look at the chart, and see where you fit, both in arm length as well as in the chest. These horse, uh, these custom coats take between one and two weeks to have made, and then we will ship it to you. It's extremely important you get the size correct because they are not returnable because they are fully custom coat to your specification. So, what happens is after you place your order, we normally will call you and we'll go over your options and at that time if you have any concerns you will ask it to us and we'll talk about it so that you will get a coat that works for you and is the right size so that is uh this segment about our seven c's customizable coat the coat goes you know uh, you know based on the different options it starts at 275 price and it could go up to like 885 if you got all the options you know so you, you sort of get what you uh, pay for and you know if you want extravagant you can get that but you could also go simple if you want so now we're gonna go back to the front and we are